All right, guys, so today we are gonna build a can crusher. I'm sure you were probably confused <laughs> about what all this is. This is like a, some type of housing that holds this cylinder and then you use air and it crushes cans somehow. It, see, it looks like pretty straightforward to put together. I think I looked at the pictures on the box and I know this goes in here. There's three airlines that I don't know why there's three. But then I know that this goes here. And it goes like that. And then you can see in the window and then it crushes cans. So I think our first step is pretty straightforward. Let's see here. If this goes like this and this goes like this. Uh, yeah, we can fit the airlines back here. It's got four screws on the bottom. I don't know how I'm supposed to tighten these up. You know what? I bet you're supposed to extend the cylinder. <laughs> oh, okay. Never mind. 10,000 IQ. I don't know how powerful this thing is, but if it's pretty powerful, I would like to obviously crush things that aren't cans. Okay, push that back up where it belongs. This is actually gonna go so fast. And then we just gotta put these in here. Oh, these are metric, not standard. I have a lot of sizes, and I guarantee I have every size but whatever these are. Oh, nope, never mind. I have the exact size. Beautiful. I'm probably supposed to be using these washers for something, but uh, washers are really just extra parts. You don't really need washers for anything. Oh, that one. I think I cross-threaded this one. Anyway, <laughs> always remember, whether it's cross-threaded or put in normal, tight is tight. It's a good motto. We're like, just like that, whatever, whatever we're at, like 10 minutes in, we're uh, halfway, probably more than halfway there. So now we just gotta hook up the lines, which thankfully they are uh, labeled uh, out and in, and they're labeled out and in. C right here, which I assume stands for compressor. Stick that in there. And that's probably, that's probably it. Now they sent some Teflon tape, but these, these things already have some Teflon tape on them. But I guess you're supposed to add some more. Now, if you don't know, there is a right and a wrong way to apply Teflon tape. And I'm about to do it the wrong way. Wow, the tape is like as wide as the thing. So you always want to apply the Teflon tape. This is a very bad application of Teflon tape. Oh, wow. You always want to... <clears throat> okay, never mind. Maybe I shouldn't be teaching you how to apply Teflon tape. Anyway, you always want to apply the Teflon tape, the Teflon tape in such a way that whenever you screw it <clears throat> into wherever it's going, it tightens it up rather than peels it off. See, I have it wrapped around this way. So that way, whenever I tighten it, it won't fall off. And this is plastic, so I'm not gonna go too terribly tight. I don't wanna crack anything. Good enough for me. Do the same thing to the top one. I'm not very good at this. That's odd. This one's like really, really loose. I'm sure it'll tighten up, but all right. Two of these. I don't know where that goes. Put our O in the O. Put our I in the I. Where does that even go? Do not put hands into the machine during operation. Probably a good idea. This is supposed to go down here? For what? There's nothing in there. What would be the purpose of that? Alright. 
I guess we just shove this in there. Let's charge up the air compressor and uh, we should be good to go. All right, air compressor is charged up. We got our air power. Let's see if we can... <laughs> I'm kind of nervous one of these lines might blow off or something as soon as I try to put air to it. Okay, I don't know if we can dry fire this thing or not. What you're supposed to do is just take a can, slide it in there. You're not supposed to stick your hand in there, but I guess we'll just push the button, see what happens. That's actually slow. Man, I mean, this thing is cool, but I thought it was gonna be really fast. That's like, and I, I see now what the, uh, what this, not this, but what, what this airline does. So you're supposed to mount this thing over top of a bucket. And so you put your can in. And then whenever you lit out, it'll blow with the can over. Although that is a very bad crush. Hmm. That time it didn't work. That was a, that's a very bad crush. I mean, it's crushed, but. That worked beautifully. Let's try it again. Okay, so that's, that's very basic. That's how it works. I really, it's really upsetting to me because I thought the vision that I had in my head was that you push this button and then the cylinder would just be like, bam, and crush the can real fast. I didn't think it was going to be so slow where it's just like, it was like a very slow crush. That's a little disappointing, but I guess, I mean, it works. So let's, uh, let's mount it on the wall and, uh, I guess crush some more cans. All right. I know I'm out of focus and the, the camera angle is weird. This side of the garage is like, this corner of the garage where this thing is, is like really packed. So I have it mounted on the wall now. I need to find like a new way to route this air hose. Like maybe like go underneath and up or something. Put your can in there. Of course the air compressor would kick on. I'm sure you probably saw it fall out of the bottom there. And then it just goes down. Once it falls out of there, it just goes down into the bucket. Now, for some reason, it doesn't go, it doesn't eject out of here every time. Uh, I'm gonna do, I don't know, maybe like five or six cans and see what happens. But the first like five, I had to reach my hand in there and pull them out myself. Yeah, see? So this one. Oh, I guess. All right. Granted, this one didn't get crushed that great. Beautiful. It actually, most of the time, it, most of the time it works pretty good. All right, guys. Well, that was it. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, quick, short, and easy. I'll see you in the next one.